Jesus says the parable of the sower is the most important parable to understand. We must understand it, he says, or we won't understand the others. Jesus shows us how the parables all reveal the truth of his gospel that he came to bring us from his Father. Now, the sower who is God plants good gospel seed into us. It's called a, the gospel is called a lot of things. The word of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom, the, the doctrine, the truth, the preaching of Christ, the ministry of Christ, uh, the, the preaching of Jesus, all kinds of things. We have to have good hearts in us to receive that. That's what the parable says. We believe and receive the gospel, then we also share it with others. We know that God always looks at the heart. And in this case, he looks to see if our hearts are filled with gospel truth. This is a good heart, he says. If we're filled with someone else's theology or opinion, then God knows we just have concocted opinions from other people or from ourselves. I refer this to this as Burger King theology. Their slogan is, have it your way. Now, many people do this. They just think, hey, whatever I believe is good enough for me. Boy, is that dangerous. If we buy into the gospel of Jesus, then this parable says we grow 30, 60, or 100 times more. This is why the God, Paul says the gospel is what produces good things from us. He calls it the power of God. Now, Jesus says we must forsake everything else and only believe his gospel. Centuries early, God uh, told Moses that he'd send Jesus with his gospel truth and he would require us to believe it. And then the book of Acts goes on to say, we will be destroyed if we don't believe it or live it. Now, I'm not sure what destroyed means, but it sounds bad. And Paul says Jesus will return from heaven in flaming fire to judge those who do not obey and live his gospel. And Paul also says the secrets of our hearts will be judged for not being founded in the gospel. So the parable goes on to say we have hard, stony, and busy hearts if we don't live the gospel. So this parable shows we must allow God to fill us with his gospel truth and conform us to the image of Jesus. This is how everything good happens to us. This is how we're blessed out of our socks and just come to know Jesus and love him more than we could ever possibly imagine.